Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, December 23rd, 2018 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I decide to allow the time to nurture. And that energy mantra could go hand in hand with one of my favorite Rumi verses. Um, May God cause you to change your life the way you know you should. <laughs> Which is funny that the should word is used because... My encouragement is to step away from the shoulds today. <laughs> so special Sunday edition of the scope as I've been trying to give myself a day off. I may give myself Christmas. We'll see what happens. Um, but I just felt like after this big full moon that the energy still stays kind of peaked. And we have a lot going on. We have the moon in Cancer just off this full moon energy connecting to so many planetary energies today. A lot of it is trine energy. Trine energy is where they're aiding each other, but it's a grand trine in water energy. As the moon in Cancer connects to Neptune in Pisces and Venus in Scorpio, and not to mention later in the night, actually even into tomorrow, um, Mars in Pisces energy. So grand trine water brings up the emotional energy. We also have the moon in Cancer opposing some of the Capricorn energies that we've got going on, which kind of reiterates the full moon lesson. And the full moon lesson was, hey, you've got to nurture yourself. We have a lot of changes going on. Maybe paraphrasing my other message. We have a lot of changes going on. We are fully now in eclipse season, approaching our first eclipse. And so that amps up the intensity you need to nurture yourself. One of the big lessons over the year of 2019 coming up is the lesson of nurturing, the lesson of having compassion for yourself, the lesson of mothering yourself through your needs. North Node and Cancer, very important. Our destiny uh, hangs on that. <laughs> so today, as we get closer you know, to some of these holidays, the peak of the holidays, the shoulds can ramp up. I have all these things I got to get done. I have to cook. I have to clean. I have company coming over. Family's coming over. I have to get these presents bought. I have to get these presents wrapped. And in that, it can be very hustle bustle and we do not take the time that we need for ourselves. Decide to allow. You have the authority to make the decision to take the time you need to nurture yourself through these energies coming up. Very intuitive. If you give yourself space, you may get some nice intuitive flashes. You may get visitations. My dad has been showing up in my dreams um, this week, like every night. And, you know, I was driving today having a conversation with him. Connect in. Utilize this intuitive water energy to connect in. Utilize this water energy to take action in self-care energy. It's very important. May God cause you to change your life the way you know you should. That's one of my favorite blessings, minus the should word. <laughs> but, you know, it was originally in what, Arabic, so not maybe not Arabic. I'm not sure what language Rumi spoke. That's funny that I don't know that. So it was originally in another language, so it probably didn't use should. Um, but, you know, these cards, I think, are really important. We are in water world. Use your imagination. We're still in this energy that is so strongly pushing things kind of through the veil, pushing desires, manifestations through the veil. So we want to use that. Taking a little daydream time in this intuitive energy is wonderful for bringing in this stuff. Um, <laughs> getting beyond the illusion of the shoulds. I've got the shoulds right here. Getting beyond the illusion of the shoulds is all important. You may get caught up, but it's really important to take some time and be still. As the moon opposes that Saturn energy, sometimes the discomfort is choosing our comfort. How about this? <laughs> sometimes the discomfort is going against the should energy. We all get caught up. I should have this done. I want my house to look clean for people. We all have that stuff going on. But you're worthy of making sure your needs are taken care of. And that is most important. And maybe your need is getting your house clean. Let's be fair there. But don't torture yourself doing this work. And this is part of that moon opposite Pluto energy. 
laying a new foundation that every one of us in the world are participating in as we change the structure, as we change the focus of stuff. So again, get past the shoulds. <laughs> Don't get stuck in the illusion of the shoulds because there's stillness to enter into. There's daydreaming to enter into. There's intuition to enter into. And there's emotions. There's really high emotions. So if an emotion comes out of the blue to utilize another roomie, the guest house, you know, allow it in, invite it in, because it may be clearing you out for a new joy that's to come. But you've got to let yourself be there, process it, nurture yourself through it. So just be aware. And one more thing, you know, it's not just you feeling the height, the peak of these emotions. Everybody's feeling it to some extent or another, and everybody's got a bit of the worth stuff on their mind. So the more you, you care for yourself, the more you nurture yourself, the more you tell yourself, like, hey, I, I am deserving of this beautiful life that I do want. So leaving you with that. So you can book a reading. Email me at mimiclark at gmail.com. 2019 reading still available. Let me know if you're interested in the eclipse reading. I don't have one up, but if I get enough interest, I may do that. Um, besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There is enough love in the world for you, and you have the power. Namaste.